Relatedness. What is it and why is it important? It is critical for understanding inclusive fitness and the evolution of altruism. The general definition of relatedness is the level of similarity between individuals in terms of their sharing alleles identical by common descent. That common descent can go back to grandparents or great grandparents, but somewhere along the way, an allele that was in one of the ancestors got passed down to one individual through one chain or, uh, or path and down to the other individual through another inherited chain or path. Identical by common descent. That's the important part. The most important part is, is that this is related to the probability that two individuals share an allele for altruism. That's how altruistic traits spread. And that is the result of the trait of altruism, helping altruists, and that occurs most, most likely uh, and most important when you help relatives. I'm gonna go through showing you how to calculate a pedigree coefficient of relationship. When you talk about relatedness in the context of inclusive fitness, this becomes important because that goes into an important ratio of relatedness that's important when calculating the, inc the inclusive fitness component of the, uh, the inclusive fitness equation. What it is, is it is the probability that an individual, say Y, has an allele identical by descent drawn from individual X. So I go over to individual X and I reach in somewhere into their genome and where they have, they have two sets of chromosomes and I just pull out randomly one allele at one of their gene lo loci, of which they had two. Um, what is the probability that individual uh, uh, Y and individual X have the same allele that's in common from a common ancestor? To better understand uh, just what a genetic relationship is, Let's look at two different cases. Uh, the case on the left is a case of diploid individuals, say a family of like us, where the mother and the father both have two sets of chromosomes, which means that they have two alleles at every gene locus. And then on the right, we have haplodiploid uh, family, uh, such as you find with the, the hymenoptera, the ants, bees, and wasps. So let's start, with the, let's start with the left, and let's look at the probabilities of, of inheriting any particular allele uh, in, into the, 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 the two sisters, C or D, coming from the mother or father. So any given allele that they have, any, if they're at one of the two uh, alleles at any given locus for individual C, the probability is one half that it came from the mother and there's one half that it came from the father. And the same holds for individual D. It's uh, one half that it came from the mother and one half that it came from the father. So now if you want to ask the question, what is their genetic relationship? You think about it in the context of, if you were able to reach inside of individual C and in, down into, the, into their, 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 their genetic complement and you went to one gene locus in there and you pulled out randomly one of the two alleles that she has at that gene locus and you held it up and you say, okay, what's the probability that individual D has this same allele inherited by common descent? To calculate that, you count, you count the, the, the steps in the pathway between C and D. And there are two pathways. There's a pathway through A and there's a pathway through B, one through the mother, one through the father. So if we look at CAD, that being the pathway from C through the mother, well, there's for any given allele, the probability is one half that it came from the mother. And then the probability is one half that it was an identical allele went to individual B because the mother has two types. So it's probably, she, she could get one or the other. So it's for any given one that C has, it's one half probability that she got the same one as did individual C. If you 
then take the next path, which is CBD. That's through the father. Again, if probability is one half that it came from the father, and it's one half that individual D got the same allele from the father. Well, so that equals one fourth. You add the paths, and when you add the two paths together, it's one half. So that's the genetic relationship of two sisters in a diploid family like us. Like my sister and I are related to each other by one half. We share one half of our genes in common. Now let's look at the haplodiploid case. Again, for any given allele in individual C, the probability is one half that it came from the mother. It's one half that it came from the father. She got either the, for anyone you pull out at random, it's one half that it was the mother, one half that it was the father. Then if you ask the question, well, what's the probability that D got the same one? Well, again, it's one half because the mother has two. So it could have been either one. It's one half that the same one went to C and D. But the probability that they, the two got the same allele from the father is one. So it's one half that it came from the father, but if it came from the father, it's one because the father has only one set of chromosomes. There's one sperm as a gamete that produces uh, the, the, the genomes that, that fuse with the, the egg gametes that, caught, that produce these individuals. The, the male in Hymenoptera is derived directly from the, the, the mother, the, in case of social Hymenoptera, the queen mother, derived directly from her, just one single set of chromosomes. So every sperm cell has the same set. They just simply replicate that one genome they got from the mother millions of times. So now when we add the paths, the path CAD is one half times one half, but the path CBD is one half times one. Well, so this is equal to one fourth. This is equal to one half. And when you add these together, the overall genetic relatedness of these sisters, D, C, and D, in the, ha the haplodiploid system, the hymenoptera, ants, bees, and wasps, is three-fourths. They're more closely related to each other in the hymenoptera than they are in the diploid species. So relatedness is the probability that individual C has a given allele identical to D by descent.